Hey y'all, this is Brian from Chestnut Oak Homestead, and we've got a rooster, as you can hear. And we've got a new winch to put on the Kubota. So we're gonna see how this goes. We got ourselves a champion, 241 kilogram. I don't know what that means. 4,500 pound winch. So let's look at this thing. So here, this is the one we're doing. Champion, power equipment, 4,500 pound winch, ATV, UTV, wireless winch kit with a uh, two-year limited warranty. But here it is, so I already opened it up and put some of it together. Uh, it's pretty nice, pretty fairly straightforward, it seems like. But it's a nice heavy winch, so and it comes with, we got these wires. So there's a yellow and there's a blue wire, and these are supposed to run from the relay up to the winch in the front. And uh, I'm 5'7", so they're six feet long, but I don't. I don't know. Maybe I'll be surprised it didn't work, but some of you may see in the video we already did. I ran a fuse box up in here, but we're not going to be able to use that because this thing needs a lot more power. So we're going to need to end up running that line all the way to the battery, which is the, definitely the right way to do it. Right, so here's our battery right here. And I think what we're going to end up doing is we're going to put that relay right back in here. And then we're going to run that wire up through here, underneath, back in here and then it'll run and the winch will sit right here. So, we're not really using this winch to really, I, I, I have yet to and I doubt I will come across anywhere where I truly need to winch this whole thing out of anything. Mostly we're getting, we got the winch and this was, this was kind of nice champions, one of the more cheaper ends. So I don't, you know, we'll see how the quality is, but the quality looks pretty great on it. But uh, they're one of the cheaper ones, so we went with that because we're just mostly gonna be using it for the snow plow that we're gonna get. So. Uh, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and throw this thing on and see what happens. All right, so we got the winch installed there on the front. Um, I ended up just only using one of those uh, washers because we had to go through this plate on the Kubota. So hopefully that won't matter. But again, we're just using it for the snow plow. So that, that should hold it fine. It was in there nice and snug. But really, I probably ought to went and got just a little bit longer uh, bolt, but um, I don't know, taking the washer away is probably just as fine of a fix. So, now this is on, we gotta put the uh, the rocker switch on. I wasn't entirely sure where to do the rocker switch. Um, it has a little bracket, you know, for like a ATV to put it on the handlebars. So I had thought about putting it on the um, shifter knob here. As I think I'm gonna put it here on the dash next to the steering wheel. So I think what I'm gonna end up doing is just drilling a hole through here um, and just bolting it right to that and then running this wire right over and down right here where I have the wire for the lights going. And now while I'm sitting up here driving, you know, I'll put it in reverse and drive and then it'll be right here real easy. I think that's gonna, gonna work out just fine. All right, well, uh, I was wrong about the wire not reaching. It's gonna just barely reach because we're going to put that relay basically right behind my heels when you're sitting there. So uh, it's not too far. So it's all right in here. And so it's only going up to the front here, which isn't too far. So that ended up working. It's pretty tight. I mean, that wire they give you is just not, it ain't long enough for probably most applications. But we got it done. And then all we got to do is run that relay to the battery. Here's the relay. Um, we got it and it's right behind, you know, it's right under the seat. So, we've got that attached and, uh, then we're going to run that switch to it and there's the switch wires down there. They're going to run up there, the rocker switch. And then, real simple, right over to the battery. So, if you've got one of these Kubotas, you know, that's a real nice spot to put some electrical stuff. Um, it's easy access and pretty close to the battery. So getting this thing installed on the Kubota, this is an RTV X900. It mounts on real easy because they already have on this, the RTV X900, they already have the holes and everything ready for a winch. So you don't got to go get like a mounting kit. You just mount it right onto it. But like I said, it's a lot cheaper than a lot of the other ones on Amazon. Um, so we'll see once we get this thing all hooked up tomorrow if it fires up and goes. But so far I'm liking this kit. The, what, the Champion Power Equipment 4500 one with the wireless 
remote clicker thing. But before I get rambling too much, we're going to go ahead and kill this for tonight because I can't hardly see. And then we're going to get it going tomorrow and we'll turn it on and we'll see if this actually works. Alright, so we got everything hooked back up now, so the next day. At that point when we left you last night, we were basically done. The only real big thing was right in here we had to splice into it, so we had to get the multimeter out and figure out which wire coming out of the key was uh was the power that was uh you know hot when the key was on. And that was real real simple once we found a multimeter to test it. Um and then put that on. Now, the one thing that kind of was a bummer, Blue Clips, it's got the little piece of metal right in the center. So that piece bent when I tried to put the first one on, uh, instead of staying straight and cutting through there. Um, so that's just a little cheap, but... So yeah, that one, that first uh, splice clip, um, it definitely just kind of folded and, and didn't do the job. But the second one did work, uh, so if I do the antenna, I'll need to go get another one. Um, but like I said, I was wrong. The wires did reach back uh, to where we put the relay, so that worked out perfectly. Um, eh, a little less than perfect. One wire has a little more tension than I like on it, but that's okay. So now we're getting ready to uh, test this out. And if you turn the key off, nothing happens. When you turn the key on, now we got life. So we're just going to do a little test here and show you. I'm gonna pull, just gonna pull the capote up, that's all. Yeah, definitely. Champion seems good. Got a whole lot of contact information in that box too if you need support. Seems like they at least uh, try to stand by it, but yeah, it works. I'm happy. I'll put a link to the champion uh, winch in the description if you guys are interested in one you can use that link uh, that helps us create some new videos get some new things to review all that kind of stuff um, but definitely good winch I'll go get on Amazon now too and leave a review I always like to leave reviews we're always going to be doing more stuff to this Kubota too so if you have a Kubota definitely subscribe to the channel um, I mean we do a whole bunch of other stuff but we're we're definitely adding stuff to the Kubota doing things with that the light video I I might put it up it's gonna be weird I, I the camera got all wacky on some of the uh, shots and so it kind of got like half of recording that but I'm gonna do something with the lights that we put on these nye lights here they're like super super cheap and awesome um, except they leak water on you so I'm gonna definitely move them from there but gonna do a video on that, so check out that. It's gonna be a weird one because I said the camera got the files got corrupted on like two of the files where I introduced the whole video, which is weird. Definitely doing a lot of stuff on the Gabota. If you have a Gabota, hey, see what we're doing. If you have one, leave me a comment. Tell me what you're what you're doing. If you got videos doing stuff, the Gabotas. I I love this Gabota. We saw the John Deere's in at the fair, and the the daggone beds. The beds are plastic and not metal. I mean, the whole frame of the bed. I mean, these Kubotas are stinking nice. But yeah, these things are sweet. Show us what you got. Show us what you're doing. Leave a comment. And uh, we'll see you all in the next video. Peace.